Yes, you've read right. Robert Downey Jr. will be trying as Tony Stark. As you know, Avengers 5 Qing Dynasty and Secret Wars movie released in 2025 and 2026. The movie that Robert Downey Jr. will return as Iron Man is Secret Wars. This is exactly what Marvel wants to do. They want to bring in all the old characters to attract attention and win back the audience they lost after the endgame. And we all know that Paramount returns. That movie will take its first place as the highest grossing movie of all time. Of the box office, the reason why he is not brought to other films Maybe that Robert is a very expensive actor. He gained so much popularity with Marvel movies, he's at a point that it's not profitable anymore for Marvel to bring him in small movies. Will only our men come back? Of course not. Tony Stark has a daughter, and there was a deleted scene where we saw her grow up. The movie in which we will see Morgan Stark grow up is not yet clear, but we will definitely see Tony after that. The Iron Man that we know is dead, but he may return us airmen from another universe. But even a dead Iron Man can revive if Kevin Feige wants the MCU has changed a lot since the endgame in a bad way. Everyone sees the MCU is getting 5G standalone achievement. As a matter of fact, Kevin Feige has also worked in movies like Excellent Spider-Man and fantastic work outside of the MCU. If those sorts of movies like the 2003 holds are currently tied to the MCU, maybe it's because Kevin Feige was producing it. In fact, She Holds director said that they thought of bringing Edward Norton to shoot Hawk, and that would include the scene where they fight. They don't have a budget for the CGI, and they say Edward Norton. If they didn't use all their money of this, see, maybe they could bring him on. Okay, hi, Ron out of She-Hulk Joes. If Kevin Feige had done every single movie himself, the gap between good movies and bad ones would be that big, and we would see much better connections and less inconsistencies in the MCU. But it would take forever to come to this point in the MCU with just one director. That's why Kevin Feige gave the director chair to Destiny no credit. The director of Shang-Chi and Avengers 4 and 5 instead of the Russo brothers. Daniel made one of the best films of Phase 4. I'm hopeful that he will do a great job in those movies too. We will see not all but most of the characters there. What do you think one other characters will come back? Write down in the comments, so when it happens, you can come back and say,